Leah here and today we're going to be doing a video that I have been meaning to do for freaking forever. Like literally for almost six months I've been trying to do this video but I just haven't. Any excuses? None really. I just haven't done it yet. So finally we're doing my long awaited choker collection video. So I don't think it's any secret that I love my chokers. If you've been watching me over the years you would know that I generally have a choker sitting around this neck of mine. I love them, I think they complement your collarbones so much, but I just like that I can leave them on overnight and not really care about them. They're so versatile, whereas a necklace, they're more dainty and cute, whereas I'm not always dainty and cute. So, I've collected a lot of churches over time, so it really is granted that I'm doing this video right now. All right, let's stop blabbering, let's get straight into it and look through my whole entire collection. All right, so the first church that I'm going to be talking about is the one that I have on right now. So in the last two years, I have to say 90% of my videos, I probably have this choker on my neck in all those videos. This is hands down my go-to choker. I wear this like 70% of the year just because it's so simple and I can wear it in the shower. So that's why I normally have it on in videos because I never take it off. This is a simple choker with a few beads in it that used to be shimmery, but I don't think they're too shimmery anymore now that I've been wearing it for so many years and in the shower and stuff like that. But I just like that I can leave it on, not worry about it, and I'm always accessorized. So this is definitely my go-to trusty choker. Just as a side note, I think I keep on getting lipstick on my teeth because this lipstick I haven't worn in years. So please disregard that if you see lipstick on my teeth at any point in this video. <laughs> Most of these chokers are probably going to be bought from Lavisa in Australia. I don't know if they're an international company. I have no idea at all, but I assume they're Australian. God knows that all these churches are everywhere on eBay, Etsy, all those type of places. You can get churches for really, really cheap. But Levi's is only where I get them from. All right, so I reckon my second trusty choker is definitely this one right here. I often wear this going out just because I like it. It's simple, but it gives you a little bit extra drop. Which sometimes, you know, your outfits just need a little bit more down in this area rather than this area. It's a big, long cord, essentially. It's a big, long, like, shoelace. So you've got these top two bits here. So I've wrapped it around twice, and you can kind of see from behind there that I've wrapped it around twice. Then I just bring it down and give it a little bow. I know you don't have to do a bow, but I do. Then at the end, you just have these two little things. I've lost the bottom of this off this one, but disregard that. So you just literally... It's a big long cord. So there, whee, a big long cord. <laughs> now the next choker is a little bit difficult for me to get on myself and my man's not home at the moment. So I'm gonna show it to you in my hands because it's a tragic mess for me to try and get this on. So this is it here. It is two different chokers that you need to put together. That's why it's just difficult for me to do it without Jake being here. It's a sun and moon and it just comes apart with a little magnet so if you want to wear them separately you can but you wouldn't really. And that's what it looked like on. Very nice and you can kind of see the separation too if you want to which is cute. I think I decided I'm not going to put all of them on because I feel like it's too hard to be putting them on and then trying to show you guys so I might just hold them up and just talk about them. Maybe. Is that lazy? I don't know. So this one here is stunning. I love the different shades of it. It can really jazz up an outfit very easily just because it's so pretty. I like that it's got the black around the back of it as well. It's not just like a full pendants all the way around. So here I have another shoelace one that you will see with this one. Feathers on the end which are very cute and this is velvet string. The main difference with this one is that it's silver flowers on the bottom and not the rustic silver that we have on the end of the other one that I love. And also this one is done by a clasp at the back instead of wrapping it around the neck, which just makes it hard for me. So I don't wear it that much compared to the other one. <laughs> Going in the shoelace theme, I have another one here, but it has nothing on the ends of it. This one here is a $2 Kmart one, so good on you Kmart. This is an intense one, so it's really if you want to jazz up an outfit in terms of like you have something kind of like this where it's really low and you want to just boom, put all the impact here, this is a good one for it. So with that one, it came in a pack with this one too, which is the nice thick velvet one. So staying in the theme of thick chokers, this is another lovely thick one that I wear quite a lot. This one came with my black frilly shirt that's like this one but long sleeve. But I love just wearing this by itself with other things as well because I just really like the thick chokers. I just think they look so, so pretty. <laughs> Guys, I found another shoelace one. <laughs> so this is a brown one with your little actual feathers. They're not real feathers, clearly. It's very cute and dainty. And I do like the brown, but I just don't feel like I wear brown stuff. But it's good to have it. And this is also a clasp one instead of the full shoelace style. Now, this one here looks really dirty because it is. It's been sitting on the top of a drawer waiting for me to get it fixed. But as you can see, it is a moonstone velvet 
choker. It's beautiful. And it was one of my favorite chokers, like literally probably my favorite choker. But then one side of the clasp fell off and I've been meaning to get it fixed and I just, I just haven't got it done yet. Very pretty, very nice moonstone pendant style and I just really need to get it fixed. So guys, remind me to do that. Another nice dainty little choker is this one here. So it's really pretty, kind of similar to the one with the five that I showed you. I think it's absolutely beautiful and definitely something you want to wear when you just really don't need too much but want a little tiny statement. Guys, I have to say my third trusty choker is... This one here. I love my Dunlany choker so much. It's so nice to dress up anything. I'm just gonna kind of rest it. So I could go out and wear a t-shirt and put this on and I look like I'm going to fall more. Like literally this just jazzes up anything. And I know that you, heaps of you guys probably have it. I just think it's so pretty, looks so good on. And it's just done with a clasp at the back as well. But I just think it's so pretty. And I just, I love this choker. <laughs> I found another shoelace one. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here is my final shoelace one. So this is again a clasp one. And I feel like the reason why I don't wear them as much is because of the clasp. I like when I just wrap it around and go because I am horrible at like trying to clasp my own things behind my head. I feel like everyone would be. So this one is the same sort of velvety style. And then at the bottom, these two stunning purple jewels. They're like an off purple crystal sort of color and it's Stunning. So here's a very simple one. This is just a little thin strap with a little stone on it. Very cute, very dainty. So here's another little simple one here. It's got two bands. Very, very pretty. And then this one here came in the pack with it. And the third one to come in that pack, which is this one. It's got two bands as well, but no charm on it at all. Okay, guys, I find this one so pretty, but I'm finding it hard to hold it on without having it clasped. But essentially, it's a little pretty jewel with a second silver necklace connected to it. So it sits like this when it's actually tied around your neck, but you guys know I just can't seem to make that happen, but it's very, very cute. I feel like I've described all these things as very, very cute, but they're all very, very cute. And what else am I gonna say about them? They're cute, they're amazing. What else do I say? I'm Leah, I always say the same thing. We're coming up to the tail end. So this one is a little dirty because I wore it <laughs> at a house party when I had baked tan on. Yeah, it's a little like kind of daisy choker. It's soft, soft material, which is so cute. And I think it just looks so cute in summery. So now that it's coming into summer, I'm gonna start pulling out some of my white shirts like the one that I'm wearing now and jazz it up with a cute little white pop. Guys, this has to be another one of my absolute favorites. It's kind of similar to the thick diamond choker that I showed you, but instead, it's heaps of different threads, which is so cool. So I really like that about it and how it can come apart. It sits a lot more nice and dainty on the neck than the thick impact one. I think this is a lot nicer for when you're wearing, you know, a pre-dress out or something like that. Instead of trying to make a poppin statement, it's just like a really cute and quaint one. I wore this for our six month anniversary with a maroon dress, I'll pop it in here. And it looks so nice to just be sitting like on the top of my collarbones like this. Very, very sweet and really good when you want to look more formal. We've got two more left, guys. We're almost at the tail end. You're doing very well if you're still here right now. So this choker here would have been probably like my third or fourth choker that I ever, ever bought. It's what I used to wear every single day, kind of similar to the one that I showed First up on this video, this used to be my old one. It started to get a bit stretched and worn and I've been wearing it heaps. I decided to replace it with that one. But now that I'm putting it back on after like a year or so, it's so nice and stretchy now. So I might start wearing it again, which is great because I think this is such a cute little choker. Let's have a look at it closer. So as you can see, it's a bit, you know, tattered because it's been worn a lot. Went through a stage where everyone wanted to try this on. I think this is when chokers were starting to get like popular in fashion. So everyone was like on a craze for it. So I'd wear it out and people just kept on wanting to try it on. All my guy friends just kept on wanting to wear it all the freaking time. So I'll put a montage of people wearing it here and you can understand why it got freaking stretched and why I stopped wearing it for so long. But yeah, this was like the original Leah choker. Very 2014 and 15 me. And this will forever be the first choker that I really, really remember falling in love with and just wearing it every single day. And the last choker is this one here. So this here is what I wore to my 21st birthday and I absolutely love it. It's very goth but pretty all at the same time and I'll insert some photos here of me wearing it at my 21st. I think it looked perfect with my strapless play suit and that is definitely how I would suggest to wear this one is with a nice 
open chest because it's so pretty. I'll show you a bit closer. So as you can see, it's made to be a statement, not just wearing it like a lot of my other ones are. You should be able to see the shimmer on it a little bit. I'm so glad that I chose this for my birthday because I just think it looked absolutely perfect for what I was wearing and a nice big statement on an open chest. So if you have a big one like this, definitely make sure you're letting it be a statement that it should be. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please get a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. We put up videos every Thursday here on the Shop of Crazy One. I really hope you guys like this different style of video for me. I'm trying to do a bit more lifestyle, a bit more me, and still staying on track with my music videos. So if you guys like content like this, please tell me in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions for me, literally anything, I'll be open to it. So please tell me what you guys want to see in those comments right now. As I said, 95% of these trophies are from Lavisa. So if you're in Australia, you got it girls. Lavisa, that's where they're at. Alrighty guys, I love you all so much and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.